If you're a pick six player like most of us, you'll need to get your permutations on by 1340, 20 to 2, come Monday afternoon or later on this afternoon, whenever you're watching this broadcast, because as you know by now, it is recorded a day earlier than race day. It's a maiden plate over 1800 meters, and there are a few horses in here with chances. However, you'll see when we do the exotics a little bit later on, I've gone fairly light in the first leg because just budget constraints, etc. But let's talk about a few horses here. Number two, Amble in. Last couple of efforts have been a little bit better recent, of, of, than recent form. She's doing okay, but one for larger quartets. Number three, Papillon. I think we can expect a lot more from this noble tune filly. She could be the lurker in the race and the value. At this point in time, I haven't got the betting, a little early for the betting, but I suspect Papillion to improve, and uh, I recommend you include her in your quartets, trifectas, and swingers. Number seven, Diamonds and Toads from the Michael Miller, the bang in form Michael Miller stable, Ashton Aries rides. This filly by Coup de Gras, she looks to be the one they all got to beat. If you look at those runs, a couple of races ago to Stella Act, third last time to KCL. Certainly for me, Blinker Strike, Yards and Mustard form, as I said, for me, she's the one they all have to beat. Number eight, Emerald Palace. We can expect plenty of cheek from this Patala Palace filly. She's got a bright chance. She's holding her form. She's run seven times and she's placed in six of them. So she's no doubt going to be a maiden winner very soon. Big runner number eight, Emerald Palace. Nine, Maxime Dumond. Last run after showing some improvement was a little disappointing. I'd include her in the back end of quartets and I give number 10, Freddy Socks, a small quartet chance as well. You'll see I've gone light in the first leg of the pick six. I've gone numbers seven, Diamonds and Toads, eight, Emerald Palace and three, Papillion. But I do believe they're going to have to run some to catch Diamonds and Toads.